If you look at the world today, you see two major poles that are really leading the way in innovation. One is Israel, one is Silicon Valley. Everybody else is far behind. The startup nation has become an extremely significant uh, part of Israel's economy. So it's, you know, as we moved from agriculture and more traditional industry, what we saw that the world really liked us for is our technology. This ecosystem, this little country of eight and a half million people, is generating 1,000 venture capital-backed startups that are really changing the world. I think Israel has, is, has the opportunity to be a leader in this assistive technology space, in the, techno, in the technology space that's products and services helping people with disabilities. I think there is so much will to try and help people here and so much capacity and technology, knowledge and, and our, our persistence. I think that it's a growing market and we'll see more and more products for people who have functional, different functional needs and which will have to be addressed by the, by the high-tech community. Sesame is an innovative tech company that created the world's first touch-free smartphone. Open Sesame. The magic of this uh, application that you are more independent and uh, you are more mobile. I can do everything on, with the phone even better than you. I can tap or I can swipe. It was a late night um, tech and internet television show and uh, I demonstrated a game that was controlled using head gestures and I got the phone call the next day from Giora saying hi I can't move my hands or legs could you make me a smartphone I could use and now you see what has become of it. For example I fell off a ladder and uh, I injured my neck, my spine in the neck. This made me paralyzed. And uh, even with my small hand gestures, I can use it. Helping people is, is amazing. It's, you know, it, you go to work happy, you know you're changing people's lives. When I see a child playing and the angry birds are, and his face are shining, it's a Big, big uh, excitement for all of us. There are 360 million people with hearing loss around the world. What we are meant to do is to do a hearing test on the smartphone and find the specific problem that the people have. And then, with our algorithm, we can fix the hearing on the smartphone. We take the results from the test and then we can make the audio tailor-made for the people. Actually, my father uh, injured due to his uh, military service and his hearing uh, damaged. And um, my whole life I saw my father struggling with the smartphone and trying to to get used to the, the sounds in the, in the smartphone. Society will benefit a lot from this application and I think it will improve the life of many people. So I'm very proud that Tomer decided to make this application. It feels very weird to know that you can help millions around the world and this is my, my real ambition. So the idea is to, to develop a, a wheelchair which will be a functional in standing position 
uh, anywhere and anytime. It means you can go outside in standing position, you can ride in any urban environment, even if there is a ramp, there is a slope, you can do it in, uh, in standing position. It's something that you mentioned now, psychology effect. Being uh, an adult in the height of a child is very humiliating. You stand in front of the counter, <laughs> you want to buy something, you want to buy drink or something like that, people are coming all around you, they don't see you. You have to wave and say, hey, hey, I'm here. This is uh, something, and when you stand, you are being uh, like a normal person. I don't have the time or the drive, or I don't know how to call it, to stay in bed, look at the ceiling and, and cry over my uh, bitter life because if you think about it okay I didn't design it I didn't want this uh, disaster for me for my family but I have again lovely family and great job which is also my hobby friends so if you take the balance of things I don't think that my situation is very bad and I think it might be even very good. When you're in a very big, the bottom of a hole in the ground, this is what I felt after the injury. When you're in a deep hole, there's only one way to go, up. That technology for people without disabilities makes life easier, but technology for people with disabilities changes their lives. We could make this one of our flags and say, this is something we want to give to the world.